What's up, guys? It's been a while, and I gotta break it to you, man. I got into hunting mode way too early. I haven't been on the boat in about three weeks now. My entire focus this past three weeks has been hunting, and I know it's a little early for that, but I'm too hyped, too hyped for hunting right now. So all I've been doing is shooting my bow and scouting land really the last three weeks. My goal this season is to knock down a buck with my bow on video. I've never videotaped a hunt before, and that is my focus this year. During the weekdays, on the weekends, I hunt an army base, and it is all public land, but you're not allowed to videotape. So every Saturday, I'm gonna be hunting down there. But what I did was I actually typed up a letter and um, put it in about 65 different mailboxes around my area, and I actually, somebody contacted me and said I'm allowed to hunt with my bow only during the week, and it's like a 30-acre plot surrounded by woods. So I got a chance to get something on video this year, and I'm gonna go all out. I've scouted it two different times. I've kicked up six uh, doe, and I've seen some rubs, so I know that they're back there. The area really has everything you need to hold deer. It's got bedding area, it's got a stream running through it, it's got a ton of white oaks that are already dropping. I mean, there's not even trails back in there. It's just tracks everywhere because there's literally white oaks all over the place. I can't wait to get on them. Um, we got three weeks, so I got the itch and I got it bad, man. I can't think about nothing but hunting right now. I'll go over my bow with you guys real quick so you can see what I got. All right, so this is my bow right here. It is a Fred Bear Element from 2006. It is my first ever bow and I still have it. I can't get rid of this thing, man. It's super quiet, still fast. Um, it is a little bit heavy, but I can't not get rid of it. I've killed a lot of deer with it and I still love it to this day. All I've been doing is upgrading things. So I actually just got this sight um, last week. It is the React H9, I believe, and this sucker is awesome. I had the same sight for 12 years and it, they didn't glow at all. This thing is gonna go a long way when I see a buck come out with five minutes of light left. I mean, it is insanely bright. Another great thing about this sight is all I had to do was sight in my 20 and my 30. And once I sighted in my 30, the 40 and 50 sighted in on their own. It's sick and it worked, legit. Next thing I have on here is the QAD drop away. I've had this for a couple years now. Um, love this thing. You can see it. Arrow never touches, man. Release the arrow, gone. And then the stabilizer I have at the front is the bee stinger. And this thing is sweet too. There's weights that you can add or take off in the front. Definitely helps stabilize the bow. But that's it, man. Fred Bear Element 2006 with some upgrades. Now I think it's time to go fling some arrows at 30 yards, boys. I can only shoot from 20 and 30 in my backyard because I live in a, a subdivision. But then I go over to Nate Dog's house and we shoot from 40 and 50. Um, but 40 and 50 don't even really matter. All that matters is that I'm shooting 9, 12, 15 arrows a night and just getting it in my muscle memory. So it don't really matter what the distance is, just practicing holding it and releasing slow. You always gotta practice stopping the buck of a lifetime. We got an eight pointer with a drop time on its left side, following a doe 30 yards away.
Yeah, buddy.